Which of the following net diagrams represents the figure below? Note, all diagrams are drawn to scale. So we're trying to match this. If we open it up, it should be one of these. So we notice that this is a nice cone at the top, and this is a cylinder. So let's try to visualize what's happening. So we see there's a nice circle at the bottom with diameter three in. That's in all the choices, so that doesn't really help. Let's consider the, uh, the nice middle part here, which should open up to be a rectangle. We have a height of three, which we're not given any information about. And we have a uh, width of the rectangle, which happens to be the same as the circumference of the circle here. If you cut the toilet paper roll, it should open up to be a nice rectangle. So let's figure out this width, what it should be. The width here happens to be the circumference of this circle here, where you have a radius of this. And the radius happens to be half of the diameter. Diameter is three, so the radius here, radius r is equals to 1.5. So let's write that formula down. We have circumference equals two pi r. So if we take the r, 1.5, times 2, it's going to be 3. So the circumference is equals to 3 pi. So we know that the width of this rectangle should be 3 pi. And I see choice A is a possibility, choice B is eliminated, choice C is eliminated, and choice D also remains a possibility. Let's read this little tip. The circumference of a cylinder and the cone must be equal for them to fit together to form the composite shape. So the idea of a nice uh, rectangle rolling up to match this interesting uh, shape, uh, we have to set the circumference uh, to be equal to the width which we just did. Now let's read this other point. Students should recognize that to form a cone, S, which is the slant height, is greater than R. The slant height must be longer than the radius of the base. So when we're looking at this circle here, the radius here is R, this slant must always be longer since this is the hypotenuse. If you have a right triangle here, the hypotenuse is always longer than either side. And as we get flatter and flatter, of course they become more similar, but here we, we have this truth that the slant, the slant s, the slant height must be bigger than the radius. Now we're trying to look, is it choice A or is it choice D? We see here that this top circle uh, forms the cone. This top circle is supposed to form the cone. Now this here is a cone, so this here happens to be s. This is our slant height and this is supposed to be s. Now we know that s must be greater than the radius and when we look at when we look at this in choice d this s value it it's simply the radius of the circle which happens to have a diameter of 3 so here s is equals to 1.5 but that doesn't make sense since s must be greater than r. In this case, s is equals to r, so this is eliminated. So choice a must be the answer. Now an interesting observation is that generally when we're creating a nice cone, this, uh, this kind of angle occurs. Uh, if you actually try and experiment and cut out some paper in this shape, try folding it over and you'll see that it ends up being a perfect cone try cutting paper like this, it won't work out. So this is a very interesting little experiment to try out. Just for sanity's sake, let's solve the exact value of s and, sh and prove to ourselves that s indeed is greater than r. We're given this original diagram here, the radius here is 1.5. So that's the radius here. This is 1.5. And we're given the height of two, you can see that it's given over here. So this is 2, and if we were to actually try to solve for s, let's see what we get using Pythagorean theorem. 
we know that s squared is equal to 2 squared plus 1.5 squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, s is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 1.5 squared. So s here is equal to 2.5 using the Pythagorean theorem. And when I look at this, this makes sense. If this is 2.5, this is the radius, and this is another radius, which happens to be the the slant height of this cone. Uh, this matches the idea that the diameter of the circle is actually 5. And this is confirmed that choice A is the answer.